Good evening from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to our live Soyuz docking coverage here on NASA TV. Coming to you live from the Mission Control Houston here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 3 team on console watching over the station as three new crew members are getting close to their final approach to their new home for the next five months in space. In this view, you can see uh, two of our flight directors on console, Vincent LaCourt in the jacket there is leading the team just next to him, veteran flight director Brian Smith. And just above them at the top of your screen is Andreas Mogensen from the European Space Agency. He's serving as the Capcom for this shift, the voice communication link between our teams here in the room and the astronauts and cosmonauts up in space. And three new crew members getting very close now, less than... 42 minutes away from docking to the International Space Station. They are NASA astronaut Joe Acaba there on the left, Alexander Mazurkin from Roscosmos in the middle, and Mark Vanahai on the right there. They're packed inside the Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft, which is just a few kilometers away now from the International Space Station. And pretty soon is going to be going through all the final phases as it makes its final approach, ultimately docking to the Poisk module on the station. This is a module facing towards space, so on the top side of the station, also known as the Mini Research Module Number 2, and they're scheduled to dock there in 40 minutes, 37 seconds and counting, uh, all of that being done automatically. Sometimes they get a little bit ahead of time, but that is the current targeted docking time. You can see what the makeup of the station is right here. The Soyuz MS-06 there in the middle at the top is heading towards that Poisk module. There's already another Soyuz already docked, the MS-05, which delivered the three current station residents, Randy Bresnik, uh, Sergey Rosansky, and Paolo Nespoli back in July, as well as two cargo vehicles, the Progress 67, all the way in the aft end, the back of the space station on the Zvezda the service module and SpaceX's 12th Dragon vehicle still docked to the Harmony module. And we're already starting to get great view from the Soyuz itself. This view right here showing the crosshairs with the station almost dead in the center there as it is continuing to approach. There's a lot of data on the screen here. Two things just really pay attention to in the bottom left corner. You'll see two numbers. The one that says I think 5.46 and counting down right now. That's how far away they are. So they're about 5.4 kilometers still away from the International Space Station. The number just below that is the rate of closures, basically how quickly they're approaching the station, and that's in meters per second. So right now approaching at about 8.6 meters per second. After they do the fly around and a no number of other maneuvers, they'll begin that final approach, and we'll see that number tick all the way down to only a tenth of a meter per second, so very slow but very deliberate pace into the final uh, approach for that docking to the Poisk module. So already getting video, the station uh, and the Soyuz right now are about 250 statute miles in the air, uh, just about to fly over uh, Singapore and then continue on a southeasterly track, moving right over the center of Australia and then eventually swinging out over the Pacific Ocean. Rate is 8.5 for the approach. The station is at the. And of course, all of this began just a little under six hours ago when the Soyuz spacecraft launched atop a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. It's five hours and two minutes ago to be exact. The engines lighting up the night sky there as it was early in the morning for this launch in Kazakhstan, about 3.17 a.m. in Baikonur for liftoff. The first stage roaring to life as the vehicle leapt from the launch pad and cruised across the night sky, searing a fiery path uh, towards space for these three crew members. Everything went great with the launch, the first, second, and third stage all performing exactly as expected and able to deliver the Soyuz into its preliminary orbit. For the crew on board, this is Mark Van Hyde, the NASA, one of the uh, NASA astronauts' first trip into space. But the other two on board, Alexander Mazurkin and Joe Acaba, have made this trip before in a Soyuz spacecraft. Acaba actually making his third space flight also has a ride up and down in a shuttle vehicle. But uh, earlier today, this launch again went very well, exactly as expected. The Soyuz craft, uh, all three stages of that rocket, um, flying for about 8 minutes and 45 seconds, ultimately delivering the Soyuz into its preliminary orbit, about 127 miles over the Earth's surface, 
for it to begin chasing down the International Space Station and setting us up for where we are today. And so right now what you're hearing is translations of a lot of the chatter right now between the Soyuz spacecraft and this room here, the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, just outside of Moscow in Russia. They've been in control and overseeing the vehicle ever since it separated from that third stage when control was handed off from Baikonur to the team in Moscow. And again, we are just about 36 and a half minutes away from the planned docking. Everything going very smoothly with this vehicle. Already has the station in the crosshairs and hopefully should get some views from some of the external cameras on station two as it begins this final approach. There will be a number of milestones coming up. A lot have already been completed since that launch. Uh, the Soyuz spacecraft executed a series of what's known as delta velocity burns, and those are firings of the big engine on the bottom of the Soyuz on the service module that just gradually raised its orbit. Again, it started at about 127 miles and has raised it all the way up to 250 in a series of just four orbits of the Earth, uh, just about a little under six hours to actually catch up and be on the same level as the space station. And this is what's considered the fast rendezvous as it used to be about two days. And one of the crew members on board Mazurkin was actually on board the first time that they did this type of rendezvous. Um, so he was certainly a trailblazer and then benefiting from it today. But again, according to the telemetry, if you keep your eyes on those numbers in the bottom left corner, they're about 3.3 kilometers away from the station still closing. And they're going to go through a number of final burns just to get into range until they're about 400 meters away and then they'll do what's known as a fly around and so as they are approaching the station from the bottom right here they'll actually fly around do a loop up over to the top of the station and align themselves with that Poisk module and all of this is automated using what's known as the Coors Rendezvous system. Uh, they've done a number of checkouts using the antennas and the system both on the station and the Soyuz side and then the uh, Soyuz is going to continue approaching automatically, do this fly around, and then once it's lined up with that docking module, they'll begin something known as station keeping, basically just fine-tuning that alignment, making sure they're looking right down the barrel, and then begin their final approach where they'll dock with the Poisk module, delivering three new crew members to be the newest on Expedition 53. But we'll continue to keep an eye on the clock and the range rate again. The past couple of dockings, they've gotten a little bit ahead of schedule, but right now the docking currently is targeted for about 34 minutes and counting from now, at which point they'll again be delivering three new crew members, Alexander Mazurkin and the two NASA astronauts, Mark Vandehei and Joe Acaba, to the station to be the newest crew members of Expedition 53. Mark, what about KDU parameters? Are they nominal? Yes, they are. Can you please prepare the R5 command? The AGC command will be prepared. Thank you, Mark. I have the joint inaudible SKD. Operation is confirmed. The burn is 3.3043. Uh, SKD deactivation is confirmed. 596 is the burn value. Copy. Depot operation is confirmed. The reverse maneuver is confirmed. The rate is 4.4. .4. The range is 2 kilometers. Understood. Copy. We receive the image. Wow. 
Ja kätosessa se. Tämä on merkki. Inaudible. That's great, thank you. Есть вообще на ГСОС, тут Москвы. The GSO is confirmed. The range is 900 meters and the rate is 4.4. Ход фильтр есть. ПВС 1.5120. Reverse 1-5, inaudible. Copy. Mark, did you write it down? Yes. Thank you. Seventeen hundred meters is the current range, and the rate is four point four. BVS is nominal one point seventy one zero zero one. Принято. Copy. The Soyuz MS-06 continuing to close in. We should be a little under eight minutes from the planned start of the fly around. And then again, that's going to see the Soyuz pretty much do a, a half loop and swing up to the top side of the station, looking back down towards the Earth and towards that Poise docking compartment. By the time that they execute that, they'll only be about 400 meters away from the station. And that'll be one of the, the final steps before they do station keeping and then that final approach. The current range is 1,500 meters. The rate is 4.3 for approach. BVS is nominal. Copy. So on OSK screen, we can see the station in four squares. Understood. Copy. The O2 pressure is 168. 1300 meters is the current range. The rate is 4.3. S1 is nominal and the station is at the center of Oiska. Copy. One thousand uh, one hundred and fifty is the range and the rate four point one. Uh, the S one is nominal seventy one zero zero one. Copy. The range is one uh, kilometer. Uh, the depot activation is confirmed. Copy. So the Soyuz now just passed the one kilometer mark, continuing to close in as you're definitely seeing the station come fully into view. Again, just a reminder, the International Space Station tipping the scales at just about over a million pounds. And if you laid it down on an American football field, would cover it from end zone to end zone. So very big station closing in, both the station and the Soyuz right now over southern Australia. Nine hundred meters is the range, and the rate is two point five. And a short video loss with the station. We'll get that back shortly as they hand over between tracking and data relay satellites. In the meantime, you are continuing to hear some voice calls from the Russian Mission Control Center. A view here, uh, that control center in Koryov, just outside of Moscow. They've been. Uh, overseeing the vehicle ever since it separated from the third stage of that Soyuz rocket. 
And we're seeing it again in these final stages now. All of this docking activity using that core's automated system, so that automated docking to the International Space Station, getting good tests throughout all the milestones so far today, continuing to close in. They're about three quarters of a kilometer away, uh, slowed down already to only about two and a half meters per second on the approach speed but going to continue approaching to the station. We are a little over three and a half minutes from the planned start of that fly around and just about 26 minutes away from the planned docking to the Poisk module. We are going to page 63, 63, confirm. When I will see the flag Prichal or approach, I will tell you. 660 meters is the range. We have depot operation retrograde. Copy. Six hundred and twenty five meters is the range and the rate is one point fifty five depot and now getting a pretty spectacular view from one of the cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. This one of the H D cameras with the Soyuz Square in the middle of your view there. Again there just over the southeastern part, just about to fly over Melbourne actually in Australia. So getting a good look uh, at the Tasman Sea just about to come into view while the Soyuz continues to close in, coming up on just about a half a kilometer away. It's okay. 560 meters is the current range, and the rate is 153, and the word S is nominal. Five hundred and twenty meters is the range, and the closing rate is one point five. The word S is nominal. It's a nominal value. Copy. Four hundred and eighty meters is the current range, and the rate is one point forty one. Copy. The big SM diameter uh, occupies about half a square, and uh, I can confirm uh, the uh, course range values. Copy, Alexander. 430 meters is the range, and the rate is 1.25. Oh, we have depot operation confirmed. Uh, so the range is 391 meters. We have uh, transition and fly around. We confirm. Confirmation that fly around has begun. So the Soyuz a little under 400 meters away from the station executing this fly around maneuver. And this again, just going to be some firing of the engines to swing the vehicle up over to the top side, just to align it with that Poisk docking module, which is again is on the space facing side. So essentially the top of the International Space Station. So he's going to swing its way up there, look right back down at Poisk and at the Earth itself and then line itself up for docking, which is about 22 and a half minutes away from the scheduled time. Everything going very smoothly with this vehicle, the automated rendezvous not tracking any issues. 
Mission to Soyuz craft continuing its flight. Three crew members almost at the International Space Station. In the center of your view right there, you can see uh, actually the Russian segment. Um, so you can see a progress craft on the far left of the station docked to the aft port or the very back port of the Zvezda service module, which is, of course, itself docked to the Zarya module. And then the rest of the station, including the U.S. segment, is on the lower right-hand corner of your screen here. Blinked. 076, 0.76 is the closing rate. Copy. The range is 290 meters. The rate is 0 0.75. Copy. Two hundred and seventy meters is the current range, and the rate is zero point six. And the word S is nominal. So the MS O six just peeking in from behind the MS O five, which is already currently docked to the station. That's what's filling up much of our view here. The range is 250 meters and the rate is zero. Fly around continuing though, the Soyuz getting closer and closer. Copy, all parameters are nominal, Alexander. Two hundred and thirty five meters is the range and the rate uh, the closing rate is zero point twenty eight. Copy Altairo. We are receiving TV image. Uh, Altaire, it is uh, of good quality, but could you please proceed with your report? Copy. So the range is 220 meters, and the rate is 0 0.25. We are doing the fly around in order to approach the MRM-2 uh, docking port. The range is 214 meters, the rate is 0 0.14, uh, the uh, word S value is nominal, and we are uh, watching, we are seeing MRM2. Copy. So the Soyuz continuing to close in almost just about 200 meters away. In this view, you can actually see MRM-2, the Poisk module, just right along the line of the, the, in the middle of the top two boxes there. That's where the Soyuz craft is destined for. Двести 
200 meters is the range and the rate point uh, one and the word value s is nominal And you can see the Earth now coming back into view from the camera on the nose of the Soyuz spacecraft. Fly around still continuing, should have just about three and a half minutes left in this fly around, and then we'll begin what's known as station keeping. It's an opportunity for the Soyuz craft to just kind of fine tune its track towards the poise module before that final approach begins. Everything, though, continuing to go smoothly. Three crew members inside, uh, Mazurkin, Vandahai, and Akaba, just a few minutes away from docking to the International Space Station. Two hundred meters is the range, and the rate is zero point zero eight. One hundred ninety-seven meters is the range. Uh, the rate is practically zero. We continue to approach the docking port of MRM two. Copy. At the end of the fly around, when you receive the flag, reach out. Be ready to send the command approach. Copy, Georgi, uh, right at the end of the fly around, we will be ready to send the command. So another view from one of the cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. This one does carry a bit of a yellow hue to it due to some issues with the color sensor. So this not in real color, but you can see the Soyuz continuing to fly around. It's almost at the done of the, it's almost complete with this fly around state. It's a little under 200 meters away from the station right now. Should be starting station keeping in about a minute or so. In advance. We did just hit a uh, short gap of a few minutes now with our video communication with the station. Still have good voice comms though, so we'll continue to follow along the updates as they come in. So we have roll maneuver on. Uh, so the angular rate is one degree per second, and the course is in three shell now. So we can see the antenna of the docking port. So the LED pre is not illuminated yet. We are activating the floodlight. We have the operation confirm the range is 196 meters. Uh, the rate is 0 0.1, and the floodlight is on. Copy. The VSK backlight is also activated. On the first input, please prepare the command uh, approach. We are getting ready this command. We are not receiving the TV image right now, so please provide the report. Copy. Mark, could you please send R5? We have K15 illuminated. We continue the maneuver. Uh, the range is 193 meters, and the rate is 0 0.03, and the word value is nominal. And R5, oh, Mark, send it once again. Thank you.
Now we are receiving the image, Altair. And have some TV back now from the Soyuz craft. You can see looking straight down at the Poisk module now, at 192 meters away. And we are sending the command approach. We have sent the command 054535 is the time. We have depot activation confirmed. And we are increasing the uh, approach. And with that, the Soyuz now in final approach. The Soyuz MS-06 flying towards that docking port now on the space-facing side of the Russian segment on the International Space Station. Our video going to go in and out a little bit here. Uh, it should lock up hopefully in the next couple of minutes. But the Soyuz now driving towards its docking port just a couple of minutes away from delivering three new crew members to Expedition 53. You can see the docking port at the center of the periscope. Copy. 160 meters is the range, uh, the rate is one, uh, 0.85. Copy. One hundred and forty meters is the range. The PO activation is confirmed, and uh, the rate is zero point seven two three. The vehicle parameters are nominal. Copy. The range is one hundred and thirty meters. The rate is zero point six two eight. Copy. We are not receiving the image again in Moscow. Please provide your report. Copy 110 meters is the range, uh, 052 is the rate. We see the target on the camera. The target is in the center of the uh, VSK periscope. The range is 100 meters. The rate is 0 0.53. All right, again, out of video signal right now, but the Soyuz continuing on its final approach, still getting uh, good performance calls from the crew, relaying down their range and rate of closure to the teams down on the ground. The rate is 0 0.4. Copy. The range is 86 meters. The rate is 0 0.421. Uh, the S value is nominal. Copy. The range is 78 meters. The rate is 0 0.421. Seventy-five meters is the range. The rate is 0 0.32. We are seeing the target in, in the center of the periscope. Copy. We are receiving the image right now. Copy Moscow. 67 meters is the range. The rate is uh, 0. 1717 uh, and uh, the value S is nominal. Copy. 50 meters is the range. The diameter of the docking port is one square and a half, and the rate is 0 0.18. So less than 50 meters to go. Again, it's going to continue to slow down, currently at about uh, 0.17 meters per second, going to go all the way down to about a tenth of a meter per second. And the Soyuz flying automatically, that Coors Rendezvous system driving the vehicle towards that docking port. Should just be a few minutes away from that initial contact and capture. The docking probe on the top of the Soyuz will retract to draw it into the docking port on Poisk 
and then once that's all complete, they'll be able to begin what's essentially the hard mate, where a series of hooks will drive on both the Soyuz and the docking port to really securely hold the vehicle in place, where it's going to remain for the next five months. So under 40 meters away, continuing this final approach, three new crew members almost at their new home on the International Space Station. 37 meters is the range. The rate is uh, 0.12. The target is in the center of the periscope. Copy. Altaire. And you can see some shadows beginning to crop up on the vehicle. The sun actually about to set on the International Space Station while it's flying over the southern Pacific Ocean right now. Proceed, please, with the report. The diameter of the docking port is two squares, 30 meters, uh, 0.14 is the rate. The target is in the center of the periscope. Copy. Two and a half squares is the diameter of the docking port. The target is the half of the square to the right of the crosshairs. Copy. The range is 26 meters. The rate is uh, 0 0.1. The target is half a square to the right of the crosshairs of the periscope. We have Pazer. SFVP is ready. They're just about 24 meters away now. So he's charting a very slow and steady path towards the Poisk module on the space facing side of the space station. The diameter of the docking port is three squares. The range is 20 meters. The target is at the center, and uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. So the target width is one square. The target is in the center of the periscope. Copy. We are receiving very stable image on the ground. There is a little discrepancy in roll. So the rate is 0 0.1. So the crosses are aligned. The target is in the center of the VSK periscope. Copy. We are at page 66 of the ODF. Confirm. Fifteen meters is the range. Uh, Zero point twelve is the rate. The crosses are aligned. The target is in the center. Copy. We confirm. So uh, the range is. 10 meters, the rate 0 0.12, and a square and a half is the, uh, the target. Uh, the target is in the center of the periscope. Uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. 2.5 squares uh, is the length. The target is in the middle. Single digits just 9 meters away. Very close now to docking. We'll get you an exact time, but very close now for the Soyuz docking to the Poisk module. So the target length is three squares. Standing by for contact and capture. We're standing by for the contact, Moscow. 
contact. We have mechanical contact and uh, uh, we have docking mechanism engaged. Uh, great. Copy. And you heard it, contacting captured, docking confirmed, 9.55 p.m. Central Time, 10.55 p.m. Eastern Time, while the International Space Station flew about 255 statute miles over the southern Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Chile. Visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming the docking probe, now retracting, that just drawing the vehicle into the docking port, the poise module, and then pretty soon the hooks on the Soyuz will close, and that'll give a go for the hooks on the Poisk itself to close, and then once all that's done, the Soyuz will essentially be in that hard mate, that very secure position, and then that'll allow the crew to begin the next steps, ultimately leading up to that hatch opening. But again, a successful docking, Alexander Mazurkin, Roscosmos, and the two NASA astronauts, Mark Vandehei and Joe Acaba, now docked to the International Space Station. SSVP. Okay, so I am selecting the SSVP uh, display. And don't forget to send S-18 command and close the RPV. Uh, in work, Moscow. Uh, yes, please send the command number seven in work. R7, Mark. Romeo 7. In work. The floodlight is not uh, activated anymore. It is deactivated, and we are closing RPV air regulator 1. And uh, could you please record the first reading of the lick check mark? Copy. Um. We are standing by for the elimination of the indicator that electric uh, connectors are mated. We confirm. So right now the docking probe continuing to drive, about halfway done with its job, just again drawing the Soyuz all the way into that docking port. And then a series of hooks are going to engage to really hold the Soyuz craft um, tightly in place on the poise module, where it's going to remain for the next five months until it brings these three crew members who just arrived home. Obviously that's a far way off, so focusing on the immediate term, now with these three uh, docked to the International Space Station, once all of the hooks and everything are in place, they'll begin all of the procedures to get ready for the actual hatch opening, getting the hatches opened on both the Soyuz and the station side. Thank you, Mark. That'll involve a series of leak checks just to ensure a good seal between the Soyuz spacecraft and the station before those hatches are opened. Also getting the chance to get out of those Soka launch and entry suits that they've been in for several hours now. Uh, but again, a good docking so far, the docking happening at 9.55 p.m. Central Time, 10.55 p.m. Eastern Time, while the station was 255 statute miles over the Pacific Ocean, off to the west of Chile. Inaudible. Welcome. <laughs> Electrical connectors display has illuminated. Copy. The hooks are open. It's not illuminated. We are standing by for hooks closed display illumination. Yes, that's right. We are standing by for that. Please uh, send GEF4 command to turn off television, Alexander. Okay, we are sending GEF4 command. Yes, for broadcast. GEF4. Copy. Thank you, Mark.
I've pressed it. Zero zero ten. We've sent GIF four command Moscow. Copy all. And so at this point, the docking probe has fully retracted, and now it's time for the hooks to go into action. So the hooks in the Soyuz already driving. We'll keep an eye on that and get a, a confirmation once those have closed, and then it'll be time for hooks on the module side. I didn't... Well, yes, me too. Thank you. Parameters are nominal. Thank you, Mark. We need to wait for 15 minutes for another measurement. 10 more minutes. Moscow, Altairs. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming the hooks and the Soyuz have closed. So one step closer to that final hard mate of the vehicle to the Poisk module. Uh, Lecce's display is not illuminated, and we are standing by for gas 17 display illumination. Lecce's distracted display should be illuminated. Okay, we are standing by as well. And there, look at the visiting vehicle console. Again, those gentlemen there responsible for liaising with the uh, the various back rooms in the teams over in Koryov getting data on the performance of the Soyuz spacecraft and relaying it to the teams here in Mission Control Houston. We've been overseeing all of the activities today and as well as the um, all of the equipment and the systems on board the station itself. But with the Soyuz successfully docked, the docking probe retracted, and the hooks on the Soyuz side done, it's now up to the Hooks on the Poisk module, you'll hear it referred to as MRM2 pretty routinely um, through all the space to ground conversations. That stands for the Mini Research Module 2. And again, once those hooks are closed, we'll have a hard mate and then it'll just be on to leak checks and hatch opening. And then we'll be able to welcome three new crew members onto the International Space Station. Zero six zero three sixteen. Latch is retracted. Guess seventeen. This play is illuminated. We are standing by for G eleven probe retracted. Display illumination. All right, we are standing by for probe retraction, and then we'll deactivate SSVP docking and internal transfer system display. Copy. SSVP mode has been performed, 060407. The probe has been retracted, and we are sending G8 command. SSVP is off. The display illumination is off. We continue work per page 68. All right. We are standing by for the readings. We can send G2, G18, and turn off AGC. Illumination. Okay, we are sending get to. Mark, please do that. Get to our 
Great Var has been sent. Please send Gear 18. And we did just get confirmation the hooks on the Poist side, the MRM2 hooks, have been closed. So with that, the Soyuz now a hard mate and in place attached to the International Space Station. Deactivate VSK. Illumination. Copy. Done. That's good. Demate cable. So again, with that, we have three new crew members docked now to the International Space Station. Alexander Mazurkin, Mark Vandehei, and Joe Acaba in their Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft. Again, that docking occurred at 9.55 p.m. Central Time, 10.55 p.m. Eastern, while both uh, the station and the Soyuz were flying over the Pacific Ocean just off to the west of Chile. So with that successful docking, another successful milestone in a very successful day for this uh, new crew of three, we'll now have our hatch opening coming up. They're going to do a series of leak checks over about the next hour and a half or so, and then we'll uh, get ready to get the hatches opened. We're going to go ahead and break away for a little while while the crew does that, and then we'll resume our coverage here on NASA TV at 11 p.m. Central Midnight uh, Eastern Time then hopefully getting those hatches open around 11.40 p.m. Central. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and break away. Thanks for tuning in to watch this docking to the International Space Station and come back while we welcome three new crew members to Expedition 53 and return the International Space Station back up to full strength. So that'll do it from us here on Mission Control for now. Be sure to tune in in just a little while, and we'll see you then. For now, though, we'll go ahead and sign off. This is Mission Control Houston.